All right, uh, developing now at four, a frightening start to the day for students in Fort Worth today after three of their peers ran into the Polytechnic High School with a gun. We're going to get over to News 8's Lauren Zakalik right now, who joins us live with more details on this. That had to be uh, more than unsettling, Lauren. Yeah, and we just got an update from police. There are actually two juveniles that ended up being arrested in this case. Parents and students tell me that they were terrified this morning that the students inside the school had to get underneath their desks and the teachers had to lock the doors and turn off the lights. Parents told me that they rushed to the school after getting frantic texts from their children that there were armed suspects in their school. What we've now learned from Fort Worth Police and Fort Worth ISD is that this morning around 10, two Poly High School students were involved in a robbery. With police on their trail, they were somehow able to run into the high school. Police were there immediately and detained them, but the school went into lockdown right away. One handgun was found with the suspects, the district said, but no shots were fired and no students were injured besides one of the suspects who police say hurt himself while running. I don't know, I was just scared, like, my heart was beating really fast and I didn't know what to do. I just thought I got to call my mom just in case I don't make it. Now, all Fort Worth ISD school, high schools have access control, which means you can only get in by buzzing in or swiping an access card, which students do not have. So the district is looking into how these students got into school in the middle of the day. The two suspects, like I mentioned, are juveniles. They both face aggravated robbery charges, and one of them is facing a weapons charge. They are currently in juvenile detention. We're live in Fort Worth, Lauren Zakalik, Channel 8 News. All right, Lauren, thank you. Well